Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another part of my unboxings for all of the desk accessories and setup that I will be putting on my office space and my standing desk. So this time I got myself a Colo Light Strip Starter Kit. This is in 2 meter size and it has 60 LEDs per meter so a total of 120 and I did some research before I finally gave in to buying this one. The reason why I wanted to have um, LED light strip is because um, I don't have a bias lighting for my table. Uh, when I'm working at night, um, the only bias light that I have is behind my iMac, which um, sometimes I don't really use my iMac. So especially when I'm just trying to write or trying to read on my desk, so i wanted a light that's going to shine around the table just to provide a bias lighting i don't intend to use this like in a very very colorful way because i i tend to have dry eyes and um, that's not gonna be good for me so inside the box you can see there are some plastic clips it can hold the um, strip against the wall or wherever you want to connect it so there's like a 3m at the back um good thing though the 3m here is not that thick it's not the uh what do you call that the, the industrial type the one that's in black or gray sometimes um this one i'm not sure what oh this might be for for this adapter so this is this is the adapter for colo light so Let's just see how many clips we have here. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, six. Okay, six plastic clips, and there is a pin here. I'm not sure what the pin will be for. Maybe this is for resetting the adapter. Yes, there are buttons to reset. Okay, so we'll keep it here first before we actually need it. So that it doesn't get lost so i'm putting it inside it was previously just outside of the packet and again a 3m for the adapter and one plug it's going to power the strip so it will connect your strip to this adapter and finally the adapter is um, has a usb end so you can plug it anywhere most sockets right now and um, plugs actually have USB support so that should be good to go. We don't need a separate head for the USB power. So before we go away with the box, let's take a moment to go through what's on here. So it says it works with Alexa, the Google Assistant, and with Apple HomeKit. I don't use Apple HomeKit but I have a Google Assistant and an Alexa device that I can use to pair this with. So that's gonna be cool. Okay, and it says it's LED. So it's A++, A, and just A rating and nothing below that. That's good to know. Okay, and at the back it says all of the inclusions and it, it's noted here that 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi signal is supported and not 5G. So I think that's useful to know. Most smaller devices can just work with 2.4 at the moment uh, and not 5 gigahertz of Wi-Fi signal. So yeah, that's cool. I have both so I can use that. And just take note of that. If you don't have 2.4 right now, you might need a separate router that can um, produce a 2.4 signal. There's a serial and that's it. Let's look at the box. Let's take a look at the strip. So the strip itself is wound in this plastic wheel or disc. Let's remove this part. This is just a protective plastic strip. And the strip itself already has a sticky backing. So it's a two-sided uh, tape, the back and each one you can see that each little square here is the led light and these 
are the pins. So I believe if you need to cut this, you'll have to cut through the uh, the gold lines. And I must say, I, I've seen other strips, but this one is really nice. Um, the reason for that is because the top is covered in like a, a jelly or a, like silicone. This is gonna help to dissipate the heat when the LED lights are on. So that is really um, good planning for, for this, this design. And that's gonna help um, this trip to last longer. And I believe also, um, one of the things that I learned while reading up on LED lights is that when you are going to stick this on a non-metal piece, like, like my table right now is actually made of wood, if it doesn't have good heat dissipation, it's gonna burn up like really fast so it's recommended that um, you put like a strip of uh, metal or aluminum or something to dissipate the heat other than wood um, but it's gonna work just fine it's not gonna burn up like just make sure that you're not buying those um, very very cheap lights that you can see in the market there's a lot of those I think those are very low quality and easily disposable so if you want things to last and you have safety in mind then go for a good brand i think Light would be a good candidate for you so um i believe there's an app for this and i don't have it yet so i found the app on the app store called Light. not sure if this is the right one and i'm downloading it now and we will see how it looks like so the app will require you to sign up and I will do that now and come back in a few. Okay, I have now signed up successfully and it's looking for the device. So it's going to look for the device next and we need to power up the device. So at the end of this trip, we will need to connect this cable. So you can see that there is an arrow here. Um, that indicates the direction of the power supply so you can also see that same arrow in here from the cable there is a small triangle there so that triangle should be pointing in the right direction as the arrow on the strip okay it's just a little bit stiff because it's new so i will now connect this cable to this adapter so it's at the bottom just connect it like so i'm just pressing hard so that it doesn't come off that easily right i'm just gonna plug this in now that i have it plugged in alexa turn usb on okay good thank you so the reason why i was able to command alexa to open the usb is because i have a strip power strip that is connected to wi-fi and i just plugged the usb in for this color line so you can see it immediately turned on and it's going to default to like a rainbow um, color it cycles around when i press this button here it changes in color other configuration so it's now turned off okay cool it's nice that's amazing you can see that each of the led light is shining brightly it's a very good brightness actually and it's still in the morning i mean afternoon so let's go ahead and add device if you can see that so we are now here we'll click color light strip and this one is 60 leds per meter and next okay so now we are going to the pairing process and it says here you have to press the reset button for five seconds until the indicator prompts the pairing mode is active so we will need this key this little pin here to do the reset um, so it says hold the reset button for five seconds so this is the reset and it will activate pairing mode all right one two three four five 
six, seven. All right, there's now the light. Let's keep next. And I ran into a bit of a problem, so you have to, if you're on iOS device, just make sure you have HomeKit, the Apple HomeKit installed. I tend to just remove it from my devices because I don't use it. But in order for us to actually use the Colo Light application, let's go ahead and use the Apple HomeKit first just so we can proceed. So again, we're going to reset the device using this pin, just pressing this hole in here for five seconds. This is gonna blink green when it's ready to pair. And there it is. So I'm gonna, gonna click next and we're gonna add new device. So it's now saying scan a setup code. I don't know where that is. Maybe this one. Yeah, it's a, it, there, there's like a home icon here. So we are gonna use that. Okay, and it so, shows light here. So it has successfully detected that it's a light. And again, around this time, make sure that you have your 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal available to use for connecting with Colo Light. Because right now this device is actually connected to 5G. I'm gonna set this up for 2.4 for a while and come back and we can try that again so i'm just gonna click add device and then scan the qr code again all right and we're gonna attempt this a second time okay so now that it's connected it's gonna ask you where it is right now so i'm gonna there's no okay you can just say create a new room and say office Home office. Colo light. Stands. Stands is the name of my desk. And that's it. It's now pairing. Click next to pair. So we're just gonna rename this to. One one twenty is the standard light bead number in here because uh, we are just using sixty LEDs per meter. It's now changing colors. You can see, even though it's not yet unwounded, the colors are changing. This is unicorns. Can see you. Very nice. I am probably not gonna choose any bright colors uh, I just want it very minimal cherry blossoms would be nice yeah we'll pick this so uh, this is it for the setup I'm going to switch cameras and show you how I am going to install this around my table so you have an idea all right see you in the next half so here I'm trying to set my colo light to follow the music mode and I'm picking InstaShare for this and just click on this icon at the bottom right and I'm just picking the device mic and I picked this setting best because I was trying different settings before and I think the mic doesn't pick up the sound that much so when I increase the volume that's the time I saw the lights changing so just take note of that um, it might need a louder music for it to hear the pattern but overall it's working fine so you can see that the lights are blinking following the pattern of the music that i'm playing right now alexa skip the next music There, you can see that the lights are showing more response to this kind of music because there is a change of note every second. I think this is a good example of showing the music mode of Colo Light. This is exactly what I wanted my lights for. Uh, it's just going to be a reflection behind my desk so that it's not directly hurting my eyes. The LED lights won't be shining towards the front of my eyes, so it's just going to be like a bias lighting on my desk. Overall, I'm pleased with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will be exploring new settings. 
and maybe the correct colors that I would want for my table. This definitely is too bright for me. I don't like too much of color. So that is it for this video. Um, I definitely will be playing around with the other settings of the app of Colo Light and find out what color suits me for this table and this setup. Uh, just look at the lights responding to my voice. Um, overall, I am pleased with the quality, the build, and the ease of use of the app and actually the installation as well. So that wasn't so hard. It was just a little bit challenging for me to thread the strip through different clamps that I have on my table and the cables underneath. But other than that, I am fully satisfied with Colo Light. I think it's a very good purchase. So if you're considering to find bias lighting and other LED lights for your work setup, table setup, this is definitely one that I would recommend. So that is it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, stay safe, be happy, be healthy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!